Kijk eens wel. batterijen. De video is just a lagging a little bit here. Likely it crashed. Ah, here it is. I am not going to fly this drone anymore. It's somebody else's drone. And this is just, I cannot fly on like this. Hi guys. I spoke uh, to Peter who borrowed his drone to me. And I explained what happened and uh, he said, yeah, no worries, no big deal. But I, I gave it back to him. And uh, he said, uh, oh, you don't want to use it anymore. I say, uh, no, I'm fed up with uh, the whole situation. I cannot do that. I cannot fly his drone and then crashing it. You know, it's just, I contacted the DJI store in uh, Tbil Tbilisi. And they have a Vendor 4 Pro in store, version 2. I'm going to buy this one. It's even a small upgrade compared to uh, the one I have because uh, this one has OcuSync, which is a much more stable Wi-Fi connection, so I should be able to fly further and more solid. It has uh, new propellers, which are more uh, efficient and silent. I will be better off with this drone anyways. It remains to be seen what has happened to my suitcase and if I will get it back anyways or not, but this is what I'm gonna do. I just received another message from Georgian Airways that they don't know where the luggage is and they think maybe a tag was wrong or whatever. It's 3000 for the Skydio, it's more than 2000 for the Phantom. I got my Nvidia Shield tablet in it. I think I got I got a, another camera in it. I think it's worth 6000 euros of equipment that was in there. I'm going to be in trouble because the air companies only give you a thousand euros in such a case. That's the maximum they want to pay you back. That's that's like one of the rules. If I'm going to get some money back it will be like a thousand euros and then I just lost for five thousand euros on my equipment. Right now I don't think uh, I will get the luggage back. It's just gone. Like my policy at this moment is like okay the luggage is gone. It's just don't count on it. It's not gonna come back. Right? So I have to start from there the luggage is gone what am I gonna do now and that's why I'm driving to Tbilisi 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 I'm getting angry for this whole situation so I'm driving over there to Tbilisi Tbilisi to get a drone and I already bought some some clothes there's another thing, you know, I won't be able to get an NVIDIA Shield out here. Shh, my beloved tablet. Oh wait. Ah. Hello, hello. Hello. I uh, called for the Phantom 4. Uh, yeah. Oh, guys, alright. I'm on a hotel room. I'm gonna unpack everything and charge it. Throw all the garbage away. You do not your average guy on the Never Mind Your Own YouTube channel, and I am in Georgia. I lost my suitcase, I lost my drone. Maybe it will come back, we never know, but I bought another one. Yesterday uh, we are in Borgiomi. I am joining a rally with pre-war cars over here and this is going to be my maiden flight with my new drone and we're going to see if we can capture some footage of the old cars over here and everything is well with the drone. I'm very stressed and stuff like that but we'll see. We're waiting for satellites. I think because we're in a valley with all these mountains, it has a little bit of trouble finding satellites. Oh. 
these props are so more silent. Let's let's get it. I'm I'm filming against the sun now. That's a little bit. So I want to have a better position to be able to see all the cars. I think this is a pretty view. Okay, I'm gonna make a photo. It's very stressful to film like this because you exactly have to capture the moment as it happens. It's so, so different from landscape uh, videography because the landscape doesn't go away. But these cars come and go and you have to just very quickly decide what to do and how to shoot it and then they're gone. And then with all the stress of the situation, wow. But anyway, you got the impression. Okay, I'm gonna go up and um, film this area like this, maybe. So you guys can see where we are. Wat zeg je? Je hebt er ook nou te kletten. Ja. Hoe gaan we dan? Weet ik niet. Net nieuw. Ik heb hem gisteren gehaald. Oh. En hij, echt, hij vliegt zo pam. Maar dit is, dit is uh, product failure. Oké. Okay. 
Okay, dat maar, is want ik bedoel, dat kan gewoon niet gebeuren dat hij zo uit de lucht valt. Nee. Dat is gewoon echt belachelijk. Nou ja, dus dat is terug naar de zaak. Ja, hij hey, wordt terug naar de zaak. Kloot is hè? Nou, ik, ik heb nog nooit zoveel tegenspoed uh, gehad nou, op een trip, zeg. Huh? Maar je spullen zijn wel gekomen? Nee. Nog niet? Nee. Daarom, daarom heb ik een nieuwe drone gehaald. Zo. Dus, eh... Uh... Dat is echt pech. En dan heb je er eigenlijk haast geen zin erin. Nou, dat uh, punt begin je wel te bereiken, ja. ja. Nou, <laughs> nou ja, weet je, ik ben lang blij dat ik niet op een auto terecht gekomen is, man. Ja. Wow. Oké. Okay. Alright. Guys, <laughs> I have no words for this. I buy a brand new drone. On the first flight, it drops out of the air. I did not do anything wrong. This is proje product failure. Can you imagine? I'm so happy that it did not fall on a car. Well, because then it would have been even bigger disaster. And this, this is the reason why even in Georgia you should not fly above traffic and stuff like this. But anyways. Wow. It just dropped out of the air. It's first time in my life. Look at this. The arms completely broken. Battery completely broken. Gimbal has come off. Misfortune you can have in one trip. All right. So I'm driving back to Tbilisi to the DJI shop. What can I do, man? I can just quit. Quit flying a drone and then just drive around for uh, one and a half week in Georgia. That's just incredibly boring. I can book another flight and go home, just quit, stop with this. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm just too stressed, you know. It's just... Um The whole situation and then I'm like oh if I do this I can I can still make it work I just need to calm down Find some peace and rest of my mind. And then go from there. Okay. Update.
I've been in a DJI shop. I um, brought back the drone. They had a look at it. They wanted me to tell what had happened. So I told them the story and they said, did you calibrate it? I said, no, because um, it didn't ask for calibration. And if it needs calibration, then it always says so. Uh, what they're doing now is um, they're gonna download the log file and they're going to analyze it and they said if there is any way possible that it was not your fault then um, we can replace the drone but if we replace it right now we won't be able to get another one from DJI so we have to like prove that it was not your fault he said yeah I know this location and there are wires there but I saw on the flight log that I was flying more than 100 meters high what they're going to do is that they're going to look on the flight log if this was at a position where there are wires and um, and yes there, there it is in a valley so there are mountain ridges on both sides so um, anything is possible you know when something bad happens uh, many times you can find a solution and then still like save the day or uh, limit uh, the damage or whatever but but this is so much misfortune happening that uh, it's more than I can handle I'm kind of giving up to keep control I'm just gonna sit and wait now and I'm not gonna be that stressed anymore like oh, I gotta make it work and I gotta make it happen I'm just gonna sit and relax and I'm gonna enjoy the uh, environment or whatever and I'm going to wait for a message either from the air company or from a DJI store here or both look at this this is uh, an authentic Georgian house in the capital this is how people live here and where else will you be able to experience something like this that the dog will not bark at night. You know, the house is in pretty poor condition, but the room is okay. But there is no electricity. Electricity is only available from six o'clock. Okay. This is what you do when uh, the government does not provide any electricity, like this, or this. There is no electricity.